Few stories in the first year were as compelling as Glenn Massey. Glenn developed an incredibly rare autoimmune disease that is very challenging for the medical community to diagnose. But through his determination and intelligent diagnosis, along with stalwart rehabilitation done locally, he is here to tell his story. Finally, I went into the ER with a, what appeared to be a pneumonia. I uh, was having a lot of breathing difficulty, coughing up blood, things like that. And uh, Dr. Goyle in the ER ad admitted me into Springfield Regional Medical Center uh, for this pneumonia. And it was then that they, they discovered that I had developed something that was much more serious uh, than a common pneumonia. Glenn was eventually diagnosed with a rare case of Wegener's disease, a condition in which blood vessels and other tissues become inflamed. To make matters worse, Glenn developed pulmonary complications of that disease with a pneumonia that took over nearly 70% of his lung tissue. After four weeks in intensive care, including two weeks on a ventilator, Glenn still faced challenges in the hospital's acute rehabilitation unit. When I arrived at acute rehab, I couldn't stand on my own. I couldn't walk. Um, the disease had taken a lot, much more than uh, it, just the physical uh, independence away from me, but it, it had broken me down in, in other ways. And my stay in acute rehab unit really did much more than build me back up physically. It built me back emotionally and uh, also through the help of the staff, even spiritually. Glenn started out without really having a lot of ability to stand up and walk. And so he went from the point that he was um, you know, very weak, he was debilitated, didn't have a whole lot of endurance. And so with therapy, he really got to the point where he could start getting up and moving and walking and that his balance was off. So worked on that quite a bit and got him to the point where he was really walking very, very well when he went home. I didn't want to go into the kitchen in a weakened position and, and uh, harm myself or somebody else. They took the time in this kitchen at acute rehab to show me and to help me understand how, uh, the safest way to get around the kitchen. They really wanted to make sure that I was going to be safe when I left. It is a, a totally amazing facility. Um, they meet every need and I've had a lot of needs in the past year with my illness. Since before the illness, I, I began to see one of the physicians with the Springfield Regional Medical Center group, uh, Dr. Alan Fark. Everything is sent to Dr. Fark through the MyChart system. Once he reviews it, he emails me through MyChart and he'll give me the results and all the pertinent information and the, uh, the treatment, uh, treatment plan that we have with the lab work. So we have a very open line of communication uh, through telephone calls and through the MyChart system. So it's been very useful for him because I've been able to send the actual data uh, to his inbox and so that he can review it and keep track of what's going on. Glenn is still dealing with the effects of such a devastating and rare disease, but by combining his determination and joy for life with the expert medical staff at the Springfield Regional Medical Center, he has restored his energy and has a whole and productive life ahead of him. One of the things that I've really enjoyed for several years is uh, uh, playing bluegrass gospel music. And, uh, you know, I lost a lot of the fine motor skills and I've finally gotten back to the point where I'm starting to play the instrument again. And uh, it's spiritually fulfilling to me. I get choked up about it every week. About how blessed I am not just in my life with the family that I've got and the people I've got around me and the job I've got and all that, but just how blessed I've been to have the healthcare team that I've had involved in my care. And just the, the people that have been involved in my care have been outstanding to a lot of people that, that dealt with me. It's, it's more than a job to them. And uh, I'm eternally grateful for the care I've received.